Hello, we are going to be looking at another small piece of the new rich content editor. We are going to be looking at how you can insert images. So our image button that's here on the far right side of the new rich content editor, if I click the down arrow next to it, I get a few different options. Let's look at upload images first. When I click on this, I can either upload an image from my computer, either by clicking and dragging something or actually clicking on this area and pulling up a finder window. I can go to Unsplash, which is royalty free photos. So if I just needed a quick stock photo, um, then I could search here for it. Or if I have the URL to my image, I could paste the URL and embed it there. Now, one thing to be aware of with that is you just wanna stay on top of checking that to make sure the link doesn't break. Obviously, if the image moves and that URL isn't valid any longer, then that image won't show up in your course. So just being aware of that. Now, if I go back here, there's also course images and user images. Course images are any images in your course. If you come over here to files, any images that you have previously uploaded into your course. OK, so if you already have some graphics you've been using, Maybe there is an icon that you use repeatedly on different pages in your course. You can find anything that's already been previously uploaded to your course under course images. There's also user images. Now user images would be, I'm gonna go over here to my account. When I click on account, if you notice I have a files option here, user images are images that are associated with my profile, so I'd have access to them in any course. So for instance, a profile picture would be a great um, photo to upload to your files. Um, maybe banners that you would use repeatedly in multiple courses, um, anything like that. So, um, so here again, upload image would be if you're wanting to upload a brand new image that you've never put in the course. If you have some images already loaded into the course in files or to your user account, you can access them from there.